Uh, steel is just going to continue to be very difficult. Uh, as you know, we're in, what, the 10th year of economic growth in this country. We do have tariffs in place because people have violated international trading standards. USX and Arthur have lost money. This is just going to continue to be difficult. Uh, I continue to fight for the steel industry. I think it's still vital as far as an economic foundation. But again, one of the reasons you want to make different investments here is to help that diversification. Earlier today, I visited a firm in Valparaiso, Indiana, doing very sophisticated technology, started literally out of somebody's house in Wheeler 40 years ago, and now employ 100 people, sell product in over 40 countries, bunch of Purdue and Valpo grads upstairs right. doing a design, yeah. right? And the idea that that's always somebody else, or you got to live in California, you got to live in Massachusetts. To, you you have that in Porter County. You have firms like that in Lake. You have people making things. I saw people making high technology devices today, yep. in Valparaiso, and designing them on the second floor of this facility with local college and uh, university graduates. I've always been an infrastructure guy. That's all I've talked about during the, but I'm also convinced now it's it's more that quality of place that will attract those people with talent and ambition that you want to contribute as opposed to I'm going to build a new road or something and may not be the nicest place to live, you're not going to come here. Uh, I have always believed that there are really three people in this three county area who span all three counties and have responsibility. One is the Catholic Bishop, who has five counties. Okay. One is the director for the United Steel Workers District 7, and of course Mike Millsap has two states he's responsible for. And then it is the member of Congress, and of course part of it is an artifacts of uh, reapportionment and uh, how lines are drawn. But everyone else has either Porter County, a political subdivision, a legislative district. Uh, it gives you a chance to holistically look at an entire region and to have your vision as to where you want to go. So again, people are going to have to uh, talk to each other, figure out who that non-federal uh, sponsor is going to be, what our permanent source of revenue is going to be to match the federal, and let's get going. We monitor it. We talk to people all of the time. You have people like uh, Senator Talion, very, very aggressive, very concerned about it, trying to find solutions.